what gives a company longevity and sees it successfully through an acquisition? The answer for most is inspirational leadership and innovative and motivated staff. This has certainly been true of Endonet. With me to discuss is Paulus Burskins, Daniel Morris and Marika Menchar from the company. Well, Paulus, I want to start with you and you joined the company in 2010 pre-acquisition. So what issues were you confronted with and what was your management strategy moving forwards? The biggest issues we confronted was uh, low morale, no trust, a real big gap between management and co-workers. And last but not least, there was no common mission, no vision and no strategy. What we did is first create that common goal, that mission, vision and strategy using input of the whole company. And what I specifically done in, in the management is cut out hierarchy and put together a really broad management team where all the disciplines of the company were in the management. So what we got then is really fast decision making that was carried by the whole company since you included all disciplines. And Danielle, over to you. Now, transformation of company culture from fear to dare, where taking ownership is rewarded, is incredibly important, but it is difficult to achieve. Talk me through this. Well, first and most important is to get your people involved. Use the wisdom of the crowd. So get them involved on the major issues, not only on the minor issues. And you have to give feedback. And in that way, you create a fair process, but you also treat your people with respect. The second is you have to create an environment where there is space and at the same time safety. So you really have to encourage that your co-workers make their own decisions. But people can only uh, take responsibility when they feel safe. So never ever punish your co-workers if they're um, trying to improve your company. So that's very important. And the third is that you also have to recognize what's good in the company. Every company has a past. So as a leader, you have to know that past. Know the traumas, but also know the glories. And when you know the glory, celebrate them and add successes to them and also celebrate those successes. So what would you say is the best way to motivate employees to maximize productivity? Well, at first and most important, you have to make sure that your co-workers do the job they're best at. So you have to get the right man, woman on the right position. And you have to treat it like a strategic plan and constantly monitor it as a leader. Secondly, you have to create an environment where people want to strive for continuous improvement. And they want to do their best every day to improve your company and have fun with it while they're doing it. And third, you have to, as a leader, be very aware of your own behavior. So lead by example. Uh, be honest. Ask for help. Don't think that you know all the answers as a leader because you don't. Uh, be authentic and also be vulnerable because people want to really connect with you and if you make that connection with people then you can really empower people. I think as a leader it's very important to ask yourself a question every day again and that is what is it in my behavior that makes the company act as it does. And Marika, can you talk me through the strategy behind the success and transformation of Antonet? Well, we always say changing the business is like running the business. It's very important to combine change in the company's challenges and the company's ambition and not to see the people development and leadership development separate from running the business. Second, it's very important to use the wisdom of the crowd. We combine the top-down and bottom-up approach in an iterative process to get the information from the people on strategic planning, on business planning, on operational planning, all within the given boundaries. Um, and third, Make sure that you're transparent, that people understand and recognize their individual input on the common goal. Antonet is a grid company and this is rather niche. So what sort of management challenges does this represent that's from different companies? Well, the main challenge for a grid company is the energy transition. The last hundred years, the energy was flowing from the production facilities to the customers. And now with all the new developments, you see that energy can be produced by the customers themselves, giving a different flow in the grid. And this has a major impact on the business model of the company, but also on the exploitation and the investments in the grid. This changes actually the company at its core. It's important that you are flexible and that the company is ready to change. And Paulus, finally, what's in the works for Internet moving forwards? The real question is what's in uh, the works for the people that uh, work at AndyNet. Since AndyNet has been sold as per uh, January 1st, 2016, 
And what we really did and what I'm really proud of is that the last five years we got our co-workers ready for a changing environment, a change in the power grid industry. And that, uh, to me, is the biggest legacy we as uh, management could leave behind for our people. And I'm really sure that uh, the development we all had the last five years made our people ready and made us ready for any future that lies ahead. Paulus, Marika, Danielle, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.